not for the sake of a virus. I mean, it's, you know what? There is a virus. It is dangerous. It does it does cause people uh, suffering that have respiratory, mostly older people, of course, right now, because they have the most issues with the emphysema and the pneumonia, etc. I mean, I'm going to tell you, I've, I've, I've had three lung operations. I shouldn't even be out here without a mask. Right. But I also have faith in God. So that's another thing I, I believe in. So... I trust it, and it's my time, it's my time, and I'm here to stand, make a stand. It seems like this is overblown by now. I was very worried at the beginning, but by now it seems like, okay, we have two months of data on this. This is just maybe, at worst, a bad flu, if even that. Yeah, it's, it's fear-mongering. Yeah. Okay? And yeah. You, if you scare the public, and you put doubts in their minds, and we all know, maybe 80% of the public don't really make informed decisions and research and do deal with the dealers. They're easy. They're the easy pickings. Well, this is the time where everybody's worried now. We can't just be stupidly happy Canadians anymore, not with what's going on. That's what these protests are for. Too. Yep. And that's why we keep coming week after week. It's not a one-time thing and you're done. We're going to stay here until the message is clear that we want our freedoms back. We want our rights. We want to go back to work. We want to do the things that we were, uh, our forefathers fought for. Even the U.S., they, it's a bet you could trick what they do in their country in the Constitution. They're fighting harder than we are in Canada, but you know what? It's a good lesson for us to even watch those demonstrations to see that fight. It's a fight for our freedoms and our rights. We need to keep forging it. Be strong. I'm with you. All nice right. to meet you, Mr. Steve. BK, pleasure. All right, man. Would you mind if I talk to uh, your son uh, for a if sec? He if he wants to talk. Freedom, yeah. How about you, man? So, so what's your name? My name is Lance. Lance, thank you, Lance. And it says here, the cure is worse than the disease. All right, Lance is a fine young Canadian man, son yeah. of the great Steve. Um, what do you have to say? I mean, this whole thing is it's crazy. Like, people are just making this way above than it should be. And, I mean, it should be stopped, right? And being here today, you're just fighting for your rights and just trying to make Canada open up again. Awesome. Yeah. Now, tell me something in terms of the young people, because I'm, I'm an yeah. older man, right? Yeah. I'm an older man. But I know you got to tell the young people stuff, yeah, for sure. you know, and so what, 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 do you, what do your fellow, what do your peers think about what's going on here? I mean, you just got to get the word out, like personally, just tell people about it, get more people. I mean, numbers kill, right? So that's basically it. I'm with you. So yeah. basically, you're, you're finding that they're, they're, there's an ongoing process of sharing information with oh, your yeah. peers yeah. to help them kind of, kind of think for themselves. Oh, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Listen, I'm more than twice your age, and we're doing yeah. the same damn thing with grown-ups. So oh, yeah. if you get frustrated with the kids, uh, you yeah. know, just understand it's a perfectly normal part yeah. of how we do things. But sure. I think that if you're cool, yeah. and then other people see, oh, you know, uh, he's so cool. Yeah. You know, Lance is cool. Yeah. How, why is he cool? Why am I a mess? It's like, well, here's why I'm cool, because yeah. I'm not messed up by people messing with us. Yeah. I'm looking for better info. Yeah. And then, be you know, better, yeah. yeah, then you can be better yourself. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, awesome. Anything else, man? Uh, that's it. Nope, the cure is worse than the disease, but fortunately, Lance is on the case. So, nice to meet you, brother. Yeah, nice to meet you yep. too. Have a great day. You nice to meet you, Steve, your beautiful family. Cheers. I'll be in touch. Yep, beautiful. Thank you. Cheers. Hello. Keep fighting. We have no rights. We have rights, not permissions. You're darn right. Although, I think you need permission from your parents for stuff, but generally speaking, we do have rights. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ooh. How you doing, man? You? Not too bad. Um, can I uh, can I uh, get your thoughts on why you're holding the sign? Why you're making a racket? That's great. I'm happy you're about that. What's your What's your first name? Sorry. Alex Alex B K. Nice to meet you. So it says here, resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. So what do you mean by that, Alex? Well, I know. Well, first off, this is all just a big lie. Yes, the virus is real, but the numbers are all fake. This is all fake. What Trudeau's doing, that's communism. And I don't agree with what he's doing. And we need, we need someone who's... We need someone like Trump for Canada. Because we need people who are fighting for our people. And uh, Trudeau. And uh, like, like look around Toronto, like all these 5G towers that are uh, coming up. It's like, come on man, you gotta do better. And there's some like good sides with the 5G, but it's the radiation that comes from them, and like it's not good. It's not looking good. The economy's gone down a lot, which is not good. And uh, we need conservative government in there, so that's why uh, they're.
there's a guy, Derek Sloan. Or and Sloan. And yep. Yeah, Derek Sloan. And uh, I feel he needs to be in there because his uh, his campaign is like like he doesn't care if people think like that he's just gonna do it, which is good. We need people like him just to go and do it and not um, stop. Just like. So like they want Trump, like he's just bold, like you know he's yeah. out so there, he doesn't care what people think, and that's what we need that's for what our candidate, we need people out there. Right. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So uh, Mr. Alex, um, do you want to share your email? I'm getting in touch with people, then we can reach out to people, especially when the offline info war, not just online, but offline. Yes. You want to? Sure, man. There you go, scratch it down, I'll send you an email. Because I have a feeling if we show we get along and show other people we get along, that they'll be like, okay, you're not crazy, you're not jerks, you're not weirdos, you're not too crazy to make a friend, yeah. so we can reach out to them. So just scratch it down, go ahead. And if you're interested, great, if not, don't worry about it. I don't like bothering people, I don't like being bothered, because people care about this, so. Oh, okay, wait, sorry, So yeah, what's your email? No, go ahead. So this H is not supposed to be. Okay. take a look and see I'll try and read these I know it's cold it's hard to write it's hard yeah. for us to do anything but uh, Alex the Great and what does it say Alex the Greatest 49 at gmail.com all right Alex the Greatest 49 fantastic uh, all right Woo. nice to meet you Mr. Alex give you a pound yeah thank you for yeah, you too God bless you too man thanks for fighting a good fight we'll be in touch we can do more about this than less so don't worry about it yeah all right, thanks, brother. You're welcome. Let's take a look here. Ooh. Don't. Ooh. Ah. Hello. Do you mind if I if I get your thoughts on on the sign you're holding and whatnot? No. Okay, just the sign. Yeah, you can. Too shy. Listen, a lot of people can make a racket, but can't make sense. But you sure you can't make some sense? You can't just say your name in one sentence about why you're holding the sign? No. Okay, don't worry about it. No, I don't want to bother you. I don't want to bother anybody. How about you folks? Do you want to talk about why you're here and why you're... If I had, like, a mask on. Okay, don't worry about it. Do you want to talk about why you're here and why you're holding the sign? And what's going on? Gotcha, gotcha. I've heard that isolation is the worst thing for your mental health. Right. So there's nothing I can even do to help because I can't go to her. Right. And the medicine there is not good. Right. So she's okay now, but she was so scared of dying from this that she panicked and tried to take her own life. So. Wow. That's so this crazy. Makes me mad, that's for sure. That's why yeah. I'm here. I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, thank it's you for being here. We don't need the fear of love this I'm with you. I'm with you. And this young lady has a sign I miss my friend. Oh, my goodness. It is, it is hailing like crazy. This is crazy. Hello, young lady. It says there, I miss my friend. What do you mean by I miss my friend? I miss going to where their house is. Aww. Well, you know what? We're going we're gonna to fight for you, young lady. We're going to fight for you to live in a great country with great people where you can see your friends when you want. And your friends get a great chance to see you because you seem like a lovely young lady who they miss too. Sounds good? Okay, well, you do miss your friend. We're going to make sure she can see her friends again. So, anything else? No? Awesome. Thank you, girls. Have a great day. Thank you for being here. Whew. Excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. I knew I was going to need my witness. Oh, how are you doing? Excellent. You want to talk about to where, uh, what, what you're holding the sign for? Well, I'm holding this sign for the present. 
This is about the lockdown. Austerity is not safety. Yeah, just to remind people that there's like a big difference between the idea of like just taking everything at face value. Copy. And what's your first name? Be, oh, I'm Brian. Brian, thank and you, Brian. Being, Keep going. Being safe is different. The idea of what's essential is very different than what's safe. And limiting things to only the essential is sort of a, it becomes like a mental cramp mental version of a muscle cramp that like you just can't get out of but we should be thinking about what's safe rather than what's essential now this one's more future oriented because they're already talking about that mandatory vaccine so i'm here to say that's some slippery slope this, this is this is an interesting pun so the road to mengala is paved with hygienic intentions yeah, instead of the the road to hell is paved with good intentions there you go one of the you know people fa people I, yeah, I'll say fantasize about a hell after death, but the actual hell on earth that we experienced was the Nazi concentration camps, right? Gotcha. So the point is... And Joseph Mengele was a top Nazi Mengele doctor who did horrible things doctor. to people. So yep. that was hell. And the road to hell, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And the road right? to Nazi atrocities is paved with hygiene mania. So there you go. There you go. See, so Mark, you're not dealing with a chimp here. Looking. This one's for the next few months. <laughs> gotcha. This one probably won't be necessary too much longer because it's very obvious that our position is secretly popular right. from the way that we're getting so many supportive homes. Right. And I haven't seen a single middle finger today. Last week, lots of people were given the finger. There were more honks of support, but yeah. I haven't seen a single finger. I've seen some people laughing. Yeah. Lots of people support what we're doing here. And honestly, this is the only place in the world you can find that out. Because on the mainstream media, on social media, it's all about purging the dissenting opinion. This is the only place you can find out this is secretly popular. This is popular. Downright popular. I'm with you. I'm with you. Awesome. Awesome. Brian, uh, we, we're reaching actually my colleague Mark and I and a bunch of us, we beat swine flu last time. Do you want to scratch down your email and uh, uh, be in, 